Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for mid-September of 2024. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And just in case, um, I'm having some trouble speaking correctly today for whatever reason. I keep um, just getting all my words jumbled up. It almost feels like a retrograde kind of energy, but yeah, I'm going to try my best to get through this, but let's just see what we get for you, Scorpio. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Placements. I don't know if I said that already. Um, let's see, we have the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Overall, I feel like mid-September is going to be a really good time here for you to... I feel like you're just... There's this energy of like wanting to start fresh or wanting to start over. Um, but it doesn't really feel like you're starting over or starting from zero. It just kind of feels like you have a different mentality and a different energy and a different perspective. Um, so you're kind of bringing that to a situation that's already been, you know, established. And I feel like this is about you saying from this point on, you know, I promised myself um, that I'm going to try to like get through this in the best way possible. I just feel like you're making a promise and a commitment to yourself at this time, Scorpio. And I feel like mid-September is where you start to see, you know, the results of that mindset shift. You're starting to see that things really are changing. Um, I feel like you're kind of letting go of a lot of things that have kept you, you know, from really being able to move on emotionally, mentally, you know, spiritually. So it feels like your mind is aligning with the rest of your body in a way, you know, so it's kind of like you're really taking the time to address things that need to be addressed. I feel like you're kind of cutting loose ends as well because it's almost like you know you're really looking forward to the future and I feel like you're starting to realize that certain things in your present don't fit into that future you know it's like every time you look and you visualize you're starting to realize okay it doesn't make sense for me to continue doing this or it doesn't make sense for me to continue taking that into consideration I just feel like mid-September you're really focused on planning and preparing as much as you can right now for something that you are very hopeful and very excited about. Um, let's see, we have the Page of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Sun, which is Leo. Maybe you're connecting to a Leo, maybe you have Leo placements. Uh, but I really feel that this Sun energy, Scorpio, is you're starting to feel like you again. You know, I feel like mid-September for a lot of you could be a time of kind of getting back to yourself if you've been going through some tough times, right? If you've been going through a period of stress or anxiety or, you know, just in general, if you've been feeling out of touch with yourself or disconnected, I feel like mid-September things are starting to slowly but surely get better to the point where you feel happy again, you feel good, you feel, you know, like things are falling into place. Because to me, that Five of Cups is saying that emotionally, there's been a lot going on. There's been a lot of, you know, exhaustion. There's been a lot of, you know, maybe grieving or something along those lines. So I feel like what you need more than anything really is some time to just, you know, recharge and um, just focus on your self-care. And I feel like that Four of Swords is, you know, almost like an invitation to kind of kick back and relax a little bit as much as you possibly can, um, you know, before we continue forward with whatever it is that we're doing. I feel like with the Page of Wands, there's also maybe something that you're looking into um, you're maybe you're doing maybe you're doing research or you're in the beginning stages of something that you want to build or that you want to expand on. So I feel like the universe is saying, you know, if we're if we're already, you know, kind of getting started with something, we might as well, you know, also focus on rebuilding, recharging before things get more complicated or before there's more on our plate. I just feel like the universe wants you to continue to have, you know, this like safe mindset for yourself here. Let's clarify the sun. Five of swords. Yeah, I feel like with that five of swords, a lot of you have been fighting um, some sort of maybe situation, maybe an, an internal conflict. Maybe you've been fighting yourself here when it comes to a situation. But I feel like that five of swords also kind of resembles like surrendering to this idea, Scorpio, that you have to, you know, fit a certain mold or fit a certain image or fit a certain title or role or status. I don't know. I kind of feel like there's a lot of um, redefining 
going on just in the collective energy like a lot of us could be really thinking very differently about what we aspire to be or what we expect from ourselves and from others and from life so i feel like for you mid-september could just be a time where you're really retreating inward and kind of reassessing what you what you really want from a situation um, specifically for some of you it could be work related could be a relationship could be multiple things but we have the page of pentacles the hermit which is virgo and the four of cups we are in virgo season some of you may have virgo placements right it feels like just in general a lot of us could be really just doing some of that soul searching in order to kind of make it easier for us to figure out what it is that we need to do to feel complete to feel aligned, right? I feel like a lot of us are really doing a lot of solid work on kind of understanding what our void is and how to fill it with healthy things, right? Because we all have a void. We all have something, um, you know, that we've been through in our past or in our childhood that has kind of left us with this feeling of, oh, I got to fill it with something. But I feel like this page of pentacles, Scorpio, is like a lot of you are recognizing that you don't have to fill the void all the time, right? Like you can fill your own void with yourself, right? We don't always need other people or other things. Like I feel like there's a lot of like just inner peace coming through from the energy. Like a lot of you are feeling content and whole within yourselves on your own. And I feel like with this four of cups, there could, you know, be a lot of thinking going on, a lot of overthinking, a lot of analyzing, a lot of, you know, maybe keeping to yourself, staying low key, right? Like low on everyone's radar, just trying to understand what you need to do. And I feel like a lot of you could be benefiting from that, just having the time to really just think about what you want without any distractions. Um, seems to be necessary for some of you to kind of not have distractions right now because that could be making it difficult to really think about what you want. Let's go ahead and clarify the Page of Wands. All right, we have the Ace of Pentacles. And like I said, a lot of you are in the beginning stages of something. It kind of feels like there is this brand new opportunity that you are really excited about, something that's going to be opening up a lot of doors in the near future for you. But it kind of seems like right now you have to also consider where you are at you know, as you are taking this step, as you're kind of reinventing yourself in a way, especially this is related to your career or your image or, you know, your your life path. You know, some of you are really looking at what you need to change in order to feel as though you are on the path that you want to be on. But I feel like deep down inside, there there's also this emotional kind of connection to this or like a soul sort of connection. So we have the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the High Priestess, which is Pisces, but it is the energy of your intuition. I feel like your intuition is telling you to do something specific when it comes to this um, opportunity. I feel like it's trying to move you in a specific direction. I kind of feel like with that Eight of Swords and the Nine of Cups, there is almost like this I feel like you're kind of torn between two very different feelings when it comes to a new opportunity. This nine of cups is saying that, or sorry, the, sev the seven of cups is saying that you're, you know, you're really kind of open to this opportunity. You're open to the doors that may open. You're open to all of the things that can happen um, in a positive sense. And I also feel like with the seven of cups, Scorpio, you have a few different options to choose from when it comes to this you have a few different ways to make it your own and to have a sense of you know freedom here and creativity but then with this eight of swords there's also this kind of underlying sense of fear or being overwhelmed or feeling you know limited or feeling restricted kind of like some of you could be fearing that going in this direction might put you in some sort of box that you can't get out of you know in the future but i feel like the universe is wanting you to really pay attention to that feeling and, and almost like ask yourself why you know why do you feel that way um because i feel like deep down inside you know what is best for you you know what you really want so we just kind of have to separate these external fears from our internal truth if you will you know like are we feeling this way um because of others you know opinions are we feeling this way because of other factors that have nothing to do with what's really going on so let's see let's clarify the four of swords three of cups some of you also need to spend some quality time 
um, with people that you love, people that love you, people that you care about. Because yes, there is definitely a need here to kind of be without distractions and have some time to think for yourself. But I also feel like some of you maybe need a little bit of, you know, kind of like that social support. Um, maybe some of you are at a distance from someone that you care about and that could be maybe making it difficult, right, to, to feel a little bit better. But I kind of feel like this week, or sorry, this time, right, mid-September, um, some of you are going to make some sort of attempt or some of you are going to see someone make an attempt to get closer to you. So we have the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Two of Wands. I also feel that for some of you, you know, this Two of Wands, Ten of Swords energy could be about you know, stressing about the future. I feel like the universe wants you to be in the present moment and just focus on recharging and taking care of yourself for right now because I feel like that Queen of Cups is saying that you and your well-being is number one, right? You have to be in a good headspace. You have to be in your in your element right now before we're even stressing about the future, right? Kind of like there's no use in that if right now we're depleted. I mean, obviously if we're depleted, if we're tired, we're gonna feel stressed out about the future. So it's almost like the universe is giving you this very, you know, like straight to the point sort of guidance and saying recharge first and then think about the future and then see if it's any different, right? Kind of like this 10 of swords could resemble almost like that self-inflicted, um, you know, stress that we give ourselves sometimes. But really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.